This is CGTN, China Global Television Network. I feel only in Catania here, I feel that I am happy. I have a, have a lot of friends. I do many things in Catania. And first, when I came, I get help in this city. So this is for me, Catania, a home. The migrants might be happy in their new country, but there's a growing hardline stance on them in Italy. In the country that I am, no matter how they change their laws, no matter how they change their rules, no matter how they program towards immigrants, I, I believe 100% that no one can take me back home and no one can deport me because I have done no crime. I don't violate your laws. I live in your country peacefully. When they ask me, people, they ask me, why you come to Italy? I say, I never come to Italy. I was going to another place. But you stop me here, guys. There is a law here, they call it Dublin. That tell you, you have to ask asylum in the first country where you arrive. I'm trying to respect only this law. This is the man in charge of finding solutions that will keep both Italians and migrants happy in Catania. E la Sicilia nell'affrontare un'emergenza che non è soltanto siciliana o italiana, ma è assolutamente europea. Ma comunque credo che il bilancio consultivo del Parlamento su questo tema sia assolutamente positivo. Ribadisco anche in questo caso il consiglio non è ancora all'altezza, ovvero gli egoismi degli stati alla fine prevalgono sull'equilibrio sia della Commissione europea sia del Parlamento europeo. Quindi credo che il bilancio sia in chiaro scuro, vi sono elementi certamente positivi, ma nel pragmatismo che dovrebbe essere attuato soprattutto dagli stati, non sempre gli stati sono stati all'altezza della sfida. The European Union significantly increased its funding for migration, asylum and integration policies in the wake of the influx of migrants in 2015. In the upcoming negotiations on the European Union's post-2020 budget, Parliament will call for additional funding for migration as the crisis continues. Currently, Italy has around 300,000 asylum seekers and refugees, amounting to less than 1% of the country's population. In order to ease the growing pressure on the Italian government, organizations such as the SPRA project are becoming increasingly important. SPRA, which translates to Protection System for Refugees and Asylum Seekers, is financed by the Ministry for the Interior. Uh, colleghi che si occupano della parte sia legale e sociale insieme insieme quindi permesso di soggiorno tutto quello che riguarda la sanità tutto quello che riguarda l'anagrafe l'iscrizione carta d'identità tutto quello che gira nell'ambito della loro parte burocratica uh, ma devo dire che l'incremento dei richiedenti asilo è giusto il 60% in più eh Eh, ho notato una grossa differenza in tutti questi anni del, dell'utenza sia dello SPRAR che del, eh, dell'utenza dello sportello. Mm, prima avevamo tutti i richiedenti provenienti dall'Africa orientale, quindi Eritrea, Somalia ed Etiopia. Poi c'è stato il periodo dei richiedenti afghani e iracheni. 
dei richiedenti pakistani, le nazionalità di richiedenti asilo sono aumentate sempre di più. Più del 50% sicuramente dei ragazzi comunque poi lavorano. Ah, e allora, la maggior parte è lavoro nella ristorazione, devo dire, la maggior parte. Poi c'è chi eh, trova lavori, lavora nei, nei grandi, nelle grandi catene di supermercati. But not everyone seems to get what they hoped for. I regretted coming here. When I got here, I thought it was going to be the best uh, life ever. But I came here, it was even worse. I never had any accommodation when I got to, to Sicily. I and my friends, we were sleeping in the train station. We slept in the train station, I think, up to three months. For me, I slept in the train station up to three months before I, I got uh, an accommodation from the pastor, Bishop Moneo Kundaye. We thank God Almighty for his uh, power around our life. Right here in this ministry, Light of Salvation Chapel, all we make them to understand is that they need to go to school, learn a trade, be whom God wants you to be. As you enter here, the best thing is for you to go to school, open up your brain, go back to school. By the time you are certified that there is a school that you have attended or you learn a trade work, then you look for a little money, go back home, establish yourself and become a worldwide citizen in Africa. I don't have a job yet. I'm just moving around the street and working for how to meet and meet. Back then in Nigeria, I, I studied computer. I thought when I come here, I'm going to use it for work. But when I came here, it was another thing entirely. So it's really hard being here. Now we see you go to the street, beg for money to leave, to earn a living. No, that was not my impression about Italy. I don't have any paper yet. I still believe that one day I'm going to have the document. Even if they are expecting me to pay tax, if I don't have document, I can't work, how will I pay you tax? If I have document, I work, I pay my tax. So that's the reason I'm still stuck down. I don't have work, I don't have document. So I'm still here hoping that one day they grant me that document. <laughs> Calvin is not the only migrant seeking documentation. This remains a frustrating process for migrants in Europe. Il tempo medio d'attesa è di circa due anni all'interno del quale il richiedente asilo, pur non avendo nella stragrande maggioranza dei casi il diritto ad avere l'asilo politico, sta di fatto all'interno del territorio dello Stato a spese del, dello Stato italiano nel suo complesso. Dell'accoglienza i tempi medi sono decisamente diversi rispetto a quelli che si registrano in Francia, in Germania e in tutti gli altri Stati membri, bisogna necessariamente... Despite the common notion that life in Europe is bliss, the continent has its own challenges to grapple with. La Sicilia registra un tasso di disoccupazione giovanile superiore al 60%, un tasso di disoccupazione generale superiore al 21%. Credo che non siamo in condizione di poter dare ospitalità a tutti. My advice to them, for my, my brothers and sisters at home, be just for them to be focused on what they are doing. Just stay focused. Just stay focused. There's nothing he, coming here for. It's not, there's not, the Europe is not worth dying for. And so, with the influx of migrants in Europe, how does their presence affect host nations? 
sono come nel cieco, in cerca di fottoni, sono gente che cercano la vita migliore, a poli. Ci sono persone brave, che vengono persone serie, che cercano di lavorare, come ci sono persone poco serie. Così è il mondo. Sardini dice che è giusto aiutare questi signori dei grandi, ma è giusto aiutarli nel suo paese. Il governo italiano cosa ci vuole dare? 35 euro al giorno. Allora se devono pigliare questi 35 euro e se ci mandano al suo paese, ma la vergogna dell'Italia che continua sempre a far arrivare a gente da tutto il mondo che è una vergogna per tutta la data. Mi fanno passare di qua persone che magari scappano da carcere, persone che magari sono delinquenti e vengono a portare qui da noi i loro guai. Tante volte noi stessi qui al mercato diamo l'opportunità a persone di poter lavorare e loro non vogliono lavorare oppure lavorano per un paio di giorni e magari scompaiono. Tante volte noi stessi siamo costretti a stare attenti a noi stessi e allora noi stessi ci siamo abituati a vedere queste persone con un occhio diverso. Io, sì, io mi chiamo Pippo e lavoro alla fiera da 64 anni. E se lei gira l'angolo la vede minimo 50 persone diciamo nigeriane, non lo so, del Senegal, che vendono tutte scarpe e cose abusivamente. Da piccola, io avevo 11 anni e mezzo, quando ho iniziato a lavorare qua, la mia vita è trascorsa qua e niente, noi ci troviamo qua sempre in base con tutti questi extracomunitari che ovviamente non hanno neanche colpa loro perché magari hanno avuto dei problemi nella loro terra, però ovviamente qua ci troviamo rovinati, voglio dire, perché lo Stato non è che aiuta noi, aiuta tutti i siete comunitari che avvero il bisogno se ne sta fregando. Non crede che non abbiamo ancora di più di loro e questo non è più un lavoro perché eh, eh, la vita è diventata un po' difficile e dura, però vede che cioè, loro economicamente vengono aiutati, noi no, noi siamo abbandonati, abbandonati, non è giusto. Noi siamo italiani, abbiamo bisogno dell'aiuto, dello Stato. Che purtroppo in questo momento storico dove si sente dire solo, sì, quelli che arrivano alla barca, se... è vero. Eh, però sappiamo che in mezzo a tutti i migrati che arrivano ti può arrivare quello che viene dalla campagna, quello che viene dalla cosa, come quello che eh, magari è andato all'università ma non è andata bene o ha problemi veramente reali nel suo paese perché eh, in Etiopia e in Somalia sono arrivati anche tanti gente che è molto colta. With grievances felt by a large proportion of Italians, some have rallied to the cause and are welcoming migrants by helping them start a new life in Europe. Emanuela Pistone has taken it upon herself to help the youth arriving in Catania. She has opened her house and using arts, she encourages people to express themselves and communicate their struggles. Each one of them has a different story. I, I, don't, uh, I, I don't use to ask them their stories, but always, their stories come at a certain point during our rehearsals or our workshops. Scelta del impiego. Scelta. Scelta. Di nuovo dall'inizio. Ogni individuo ha diritto al lavoro alle libere. Scelta. No! Scelta. Hai visto che lo sai? Ogni individuo ha diritto al lavoro alle libere. Scelta. Diritto. Diritto. Di nuovo. Ogni... Ce la fai, ce la fai, ce la fai. I always have been, worked, uh, have been working with the males because females started to arrive a little bit later and each one of them has a very, very troubled story and most of them uh, are under international protection. So uh, it was uh, really difficult 
to start working with the girls. In Italy, opinion seems to be divided, not only amongst common citizens, but also in political circles. Quello che sta succedendo in verità mi preoccupa moltissimo. Intendo le ultime prese di posizione del cosiddetto ministro degli interni, che bisogna individuare un nemico, chiunque sia, gli immigrati, i negri, come li chiamano, ora sono i rom, per poter fare dimenticare alla popolazione le verità più grosse. Facciamo in modo che i ricchi siano sempre più ricchi e i poveri sempre più poveri. Io ho letto di recente in un romanzo giallo, un personaggio inventato, un giudice, dice al commissario che fa l'inchiesta, dice sa commissario, ho risolto il problema degli immigrati. Dice come l'ha risolto? Semplice, si pone una domanda, se rispondono in francese, bene, vadano in Francia, se rispondono in tedesco, vadano in Germania, se rispondono in spagnolo, vadano in Spagna. Sul filo del paradosso intendeva dire le nazioni dell'Occidente che hanno sfruttato gli africani e gli hanno dato anche la lingua, ora si riporta. The anti-immigration sentiments have continued to rise over the years in Italy and the issue of illegal migration emerging as a major campaign tool for political parties. In the recent Italian elections, Matteo Salvini, through the far-right League party, campaigned on this platform, vowing to send 500,000 irregular migrants home. His stand seems to have worked its way into people's hearts, as this propelled his party to leadership. In June 2018, Matteo made headlines when he shut the Italian port to a migrant rescue ship carrying 629 passengers. So we were thinking that was a ship, but when we went close to A, it wasn't a ship, it was a refinery. But at the back of us, we saw a ship, so everybody decided to drive to that ship. So as we reached to the ship, firstly the ship was moving, but at a certain point in time it stopped. So we went close to the ship and we held the ship. I was the first person who held the ship by the time trying to rescue some of our friends from the boat. But you know at that time the sea was waving, so we couldn't control the boat at that moment. So as the boat goes so people just start to fall in the water and how we were able to rescue total number of 30 persons and 21 persons got drowned in the water. I siciliani sono stati sempre un popolo assolutamente, ma credo che dobbiamo trovare il giusto equilibrio fra quelle che sono le esigenze solidaristi o quelle di tutela anche della sicurezza nazionale, della tutela anche ovviamente del nostro tessuto sociale ed economico. What wasn't as widely reported at the time was the fact that another boat arrived a few days later with 900 migrants on board and was accepted. Valerio De Urso is an Italian journalist and was in Catania on the day the migrants disembarked. I was here like a, a week ago. It was the, the 13th of June. And this is the same ship that it has arrived with all, all, over than uh, 900 refugees. Full of them, all over there, just quite calm. Nobody was shooting, shouting, nobody was crying, screaming, just waiting to be, to put their feet on the, on the land, no? They were all there. There was uh, like uh, more than 20 women with child. There were one like 
free bounce and a lot of uh, minors without parents and maybe also without friends so they are absolutely alone yeah there was a uh, all this this dock was full full of uh, uh, journalists, uh, broadcasts from all over the world uh, covering this event. The Aquarius incident drew criticism and support in equal measure. Matteo became a hero for those against immigration in Europe and was vilified by those who see the migration issue as a global humanitarian crisis. Unlike Matteo, Angela Merkel saw the migrants' issue as an answer to Germany's dwindling population. She feels Europe faces many challenges, but that of migration could become the make or break for the European Union. Then what we are now experiencing is something that our country will continue to deal with in the next years weiter beschäftigen wird, verändern wird und wir wollen, dass es sich zum Positiven verändert und wir glauben, das können wir schaffen. Looking at the 2017 European elections, the immigration sentiments were not only used as top political agenda in Italy, but across Europe. Marine Le Pen campaigned under the right-wing populist party National Front in France during the 2017 elections. The party scooped a significant share of the votes. This was largely attributed to her strong stand against free migration. Front National is the only one to say the truth about the immigration massive and its consequences. Contrary to the laus of well-pensant Europeans and tiers-mondists, the immigration massive is not a chance, but a serious menace for the security of the nations, who are constrained to assure the accueil without distinction of clandestines, in the midst of which the state Islamic State announces to want to infiltrate its soldiers of the dass äh, Flüchtlinge unkontrolliert in dieses Land äh, einströmen und dass äh, die Regierung total die Kontrolle über das verloren hat, was hier geschieht. Und wenn eine Regierung die innere und die äußere Sicherheit eines Landes nicht mehr garantieren kann, dann muss sie weg. But is the European society divided on the migrant issue? Professor Hui Hongyan, a scholar on European studies in China, shares his insights on this. Yes, indeed. If we look at the map of the, uh, Europe, we can find that, uh, yes, there are some, still some countries that try to have get some uh, migration and refugee inside, uh, including what happened in Germany. But even in Germany, as we know, there are uh, already some uh, very, very uh, different uh, ideas about this uh, refugee and migration issue. But of course, in some other countries, for example, like uh, Italy, because as we, as we know, because of uh, uh, geographic uh, position, Italy and some other Southern European countries, they are so-called the front country to receive the, you know, uh, refugee and migration uh, firstly. So they suffer a lot, maybe, from this uh, uh, disorder brain, uh, brain by uh, refugee and uh, migration. So they don't want to take the, uh, the price uh, anymore. And also some other countries, for example, Central and Eastern European countries, they, uh, don't, they, they, they don't have the tradition to receive the refugee or migration, like Germany or some other Nordic countries. As a representative of the independent think tank Open Europe in Brussels, Peter Klebe sheds light on how the public opinion carried the day during the 2017 European elections. The right-wing populist win in France and Germany was that they convinced a, a great part of society, of course in France much more than in Germany. Uh, ultimately they didn't win, uh, but uh, let's say it was a very powerful signal coming from the population uh, that something was going in the wrong direction. Hey, io faccio appello agli uomini. To put it into perspective, in Italy, the Democratic Party was leading in 2013, while Matteo Salvini's party, Lega Nord, lagged behind. 
but 2018 statistics showed a dramatic shift, with the populist party Lega Nord rising through the ranks, while the Democratic Party dropped in popularity. The chaos uh, that went along with the uh, migration crisis of 2015-2016, uh, which really shows that if you don't have uh, order uh, and law and order, that um, you actually turn the population against migration, against all migration. It's very dangerous, I think. Um, but of course, during that era, uh, you also had the terrorist attacks uh, swiping Europe. Uh, those were, for the most part, not committed by refugees, but by people from migrant communities, often. Um, of course, in public opinion, those two things were conflated. Uh, so uh, people were accusing uh, refugees to, uh, um, to be terrorists, which was definitely often uh, or most of the time not the case. Secondly, as we know recently, uh, not only the uh, terrorism attacks and also the uh, refugee and migration issue raised a, a, a failing in some uh, European countries uh, with I mean, the, the loss of the uh, uh, safety. But I think that, uh, at least when you look to Germany, uh, we have already been uh, reached the, uh, the height of that. Um, uh, migration is no longer the number one issue at the moment in uh, Germany, but I think it can quickly go back when the population sees that politicians, uh, again, would not have control over, over it. With EU elections around the corner, Will the immigration case perhaps carry the vote? Uh, most countries now agree that uh, we need firm border protection. Whatever you stand on migration, um, the uh, right-wing populists and, uh, and the far right, uh, they will do well, but I don't think they will do uh, much better than uh, they are uh, today, unless there would be a big spike uh, in uh, irregular migrant arrivals, of course, we don't know, eh, but the uh, elections are already in May, so I think uh, that it would be a little bit too early uh, for it to have an effect. Uh, typically in winter, things are relatively calm. According to my observation, I think the uh, right-wing uh, group will take some advantage, which means that uh, in long term, European country, even uh, including European Union, they will try to take a more conservative policy towards the migration and refugee issue. But the big question lingers. Is Europe the ultimate source of success and peace for the migrants? Cercando di dare una mano concreta all'interno degli stati di partenza dove vi sono oggettive condizioni economiche e sociali devastanti, bisogna essere assolutamente solidali ma agendo a monte e non a valle. First to take migration into account and create opportunities for people to work and live in dignity in their own countries. Second, trafficking are criminal activities. Migration is not. Third, to increase opportunities for legal migration. With the crisis continuing, is the world able to find a lasting solution?